Chain. In today's video, we're gonna talk about setting up your throwing chain reaction. Now, one of the things we're gonna talk about in pillar one, one of the core things and one of the core objectives you're trying to do is actually establish the orbit pattern of the discus. So where you move that discus is super key. So what we're gonna do is encourage our coaches and throwers that this is a super important thing and it's something we talk about in depth inside throwing chain reaction system. So click the link below. Okay, so one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna be watching the path of the discus. We typically are gonna wanna have that higher point and we're gonna wanna set that path so it's going to be here. You're trying to avoid the back and forth. This type of motion leads to technically this orbit and this orbit is going to lead to the incorrect pillar two which is going to create people falling into the ring. So it's a super important thing. There's four main objectives that we talk about in our pillar one in the start and again you can get that information by clicking the link below but one of the core things you want to do to help clean up your throw learning how to actually move the discus right you're going to be really concentrating on that path and that's going to also be affected by how you hold the discus and we've we've created other videos and again inside our system we go through all of these things in depth and we create our different drills and process for doing so one simple tip for you today to keep it simple is start trying to wind with the discus so that you're taking the discus up to a high point that it's about the shoulder. This is gonna help dictate the orbit throughout the throw. If we're doing things like we've talked about in other videos like the figure eight wind, you're gonna wind up setting an orbit and technically you can see when you're doing this, this is the actual orbit. But what you're gonna do, you'll tilt your shoulders but you'll adjust with your arms so it won't be as obvious but that is actually what's happening. So one of the simple things that we wanted to help a lot of our young throwers with today and coaches as you look is to be able to make sure that your athlete is carrying that discus properly and placing it in the right orbit so that you can set up your throw again set up your th your chain reaction for better more balanced throw. And in today's YouTube video what we're going to talk about is the block arm in the discus. Now one of the key things that we want to think about and learn and understand is that position of the block arm. There's different schools of thought and some people are talking about how the block arm opens and where is it supposed to work does it come all the way through like this or does it come here and drive through? And what I'm gonna say is that what we advocate and what we teach in the throwing chain reaction system is that the block arm is going to abruptly stop at a certain point with that block leg, and that's where the whole body comes around here. Now, one of the examples we do is we talk about, we made up a carnival game called Knockout Punch, where if we had something here and we went and we had to punch the most force, and you would see how that's how a knockout, a heavyweight boxer and a, or a pro boxer delivers that knockout punch. They hit the arm stops in front and they drive the delivery side through right the punching side so when we're throwing we have to stop our block and drive everything through and that's what creates that whipping type motion you're gonna notice this so again let's throw up some elite throwers and we'll look at some of our more advanced high school throwers and one of the things you're gonna notice is when that block arm stops the best throwers that have big big throws they feel that stop and you see that body come around so we talk about stopping it in front because by the time you actually react right the reaction is if I try to stop too late I'll stop it here and I'll block too late and now I'm gonna have this what's the biggest indicator what we're talking about the validated we look at our top throwers and we look at where that arms gonna stop you're gonna notice the position of the shoulders and where the shoulders are as we come through delivery you're gonna see that arm stopping and you're gonna see this type of motion and typically what you'll notice is that block arm stops at the rib line and you're gonna see this type of motion so the delivery side is coming through and you're going to notice that when I'm doing this, my arm is actually stopped at the side. So if you look at somebody like Piotr Melchowski of Poland, again, legendary thrower. He's still throwing far. He's 38 years old and look at his block arm. So we throw up the video. We've got a video of his PR. So high 72 meter throw. And so you're going to notice that when he hits that block arm stops and you'll see him as he comes through the reverse that that block arm is holding in that same position at the body line. So now when you look at somebody else like Gerd Cantor, you're gonna notice that same thing, really massive smash of that right arm, that block arm stops. So if you look at our block leg video and you start to incorporate how to feel that right type of block arm stopping position, you're gonna notice that it's gonna make a huge, huge difference on your throws. And for so many young throwers, they're pulling the shoulder back. And again, going back to our knockout punch game, if I try to throw a knockout and I'm pulling my shoulder back, I'm gonna have a left 
less dynamic, forceful punch. So it's the same thing. We want to have that big strike at the end of our throw. And if our arm is locked and blocked. Now, the other thing is, is we don't want to be pulling that arm in too soon. I do know coaches who cue that. And I understand that it, why, and I think it's a good point, but at a certain point, that elbow has to be a little bit further out. And sometimes young throwers will pull in so close that the fist is in here. And again, it has to be somewhat of a counterbalance to the discus. And this is why if you look at somebody like Alekna, Melichowski, you look at Robert Harding, who's a non-verse with the arms out here. You look at Frederick Dakers, you look at Daniel Stahl, you look at Perkovich. They don't have it quite in here. So you're gonna see it here. And one of the things we talk about is the height. You don't have it, the elbow can't be above the shoulder. It has to be in here. This is how you engage the pec, the lat, the posterior delt, and you get that whole shoulder tied in for much better, more forceful delivery. Just keep those things in mind. Those are some mechanics to better understand that block arm position. And again, if you're interested in the throwing chain reaction, want to go deep, we give you drills for all of these sorts of things. Check the link in the description. You'll notice that we have a link to our free mini course, which kind of breaks down the six pillars. And then we, of course, go in depth inside our program with courses and drills. We have about 40 drills per for the discus, for the rotational shot, and different drills, another 40 or so for the glide shot put. And those break down the system, pillar connection drills, courses, strength training, everything you would want to help you throw farther. So for those of you that want to dig deeper, there's a lot more to go in that are going to help you better understand the mechanics of the throw so that you can get better and throw farther faster. All right, thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment below. And for those of you that are watching and downloading and not subscribing, that's okay. We're happy to see you getting better too. So thanks so much and we will see you on the next video. Be sure to check out our next videos. Be sure to subscribe. Visit our website for free videos. Click the links below. We have links to our free mini course. Check out our websites for camps and different detailed information. Throw farther faster by understanding the science with the Throwing Chain Reaction System. Thanks so much for watching.